We move on to the following hadith and maybe uh, we will conclude uh, our first uh, part of the show with it. The hadith number uh, 47. And this hadith was narrated by Abu Huraira. May Allah be pleased with him. Abu Huraira says, the Prophet وسلم, said, whoever prays during the night in Ramadan out of sincere faith and seeking its reward from Allah will have all of his previous sins forgiven. And this hadith was agreed upon. This is a beautiful hadith like the rest of the hadiths of the Prophet ﷺ. They're all beautiful, they are all rich in meaning, and they are all inspiring. What do we understand from this hadith? We understand that the Prophet ﷺ is highly encouraging the Muslims to pray and to dedicate the nights of Ramadan for night prayer. And what is the reward of that? Well, if you do this with two conditions, Allah the Almighty will forgive your previous sins. And this is a lot. To have all of your previous sins forgiven, this is a lot. And it's worth paying hundreds and thousands, millions of dollars or euros or whatever, just to get your sheet your record book cleaned, restore it white again as it was. What to do? You don't have to pay a lot. You don't have to do a lot. All what you need to do is to pray night prayer during every single night of Ramadan. But there are two conditions. One, that you are sincere, imanan. So you do this out of your sincerity out of believing that it is a sunnah that the Prophet did والسلام, and so did all of his companions afterwards. Believing that night prayer is the honor of a believer as in the hadith, the honor of a believer, night prayer and his dignity is in not looking at what people have in their hands. So if you do this First condition, that you're sincere and that you believe that Allah Azza wa has given us this opportunity to get our record books cleaned. And you do this with the second condition, which is ihtisaban, which means that you are anticipating the reward only to be from Allah Azza wa You're seeking the reward and anticipating it from Allah. So sincerity, you're not praying for anyone else. You're not praying so that people would say, oh, mashallah, he prays or he stands all night in prayer for the sake of Allah as some show off would do because you have to be sincere. Ibn al-Jawzi, may Allah have mercy on his soul, says that I went once late at night with a friend to a mosque in Baghdad. And there was a man praying, so we looked at him and we said to each other, MashaAllah, look at how beautiful and submissive this man's prayer is. Apparently, they spoke a bit loud and the man heard this. So he wrapped up his prayer in a quick fashion and he came to them with a big smile on his face saying, as if he's saying to them that I, I've heard what you said. He said to them, how would you feel to know that I am fasting for the past 30 years every single day. So look at what showing off does to an individual. This man interrupted this prayer and he exposed his good deeds by telling them that he did this form of worship or good deeds, which is fasting for the past 30 years for the sake of Allah. Now he exposed himself and he used it to boast about it and to show off. So if you pray night prayer during the month of Ramadan for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal, in this case Allah would forgive your 
previous sins. But praying from Isha to Fajr is very difficult. Well, Allah Azza wa had made this easy for us. And He told us that if you pray in the congregation with the Imam, until He finishes His prayer, that is Witr. So if you pray Isha, then you pray the whole Taraweeh with Him or the night prayer with Him until He offers Witr, then this would be counted for you as praying the whole night. So imagine if you succeed in doing this every single night of Ramadan, at the end of Ramadan, Allah the Almighty will forgive all of your previous sins. What sins? Major and minor or only minor? It's an issue of dispute and the most authentic opinion is that the minor sins are forgiven. But if you pray with the intention of repentance and you feel remorse over the major sins that you've committed and you repent to Allah from them, then Allah would forgive your major and your final uh, and your uh, uh, minor sins as well